be one of the last ones. So these are done, but I can uh, also finish them completely with paint and uh, tag, name tag. Maybe just like like this one right here. This one's all painted with a name tag. So if someone finds my dies in an antique shop 100 years from now, they would be able to maybe Google it and find out what this is. But it's pretty cool that, you know, they can uh, last for many, many years and serve me well. Super focus here, mm -hmm. and I guess quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to not over bend it or think it. How long have you been making your own guys? Four years now. Where did you learn how to do it? Uh, just by myself. It was a long process. There is no uh, like YouTube tutorial of how to make your own dice. You know? It was uh, a long process of researching and what kind of benders I need, what kind of steel I need, where to get that steel, where to find the benders. So, I uh, started with a, a bender I found on Craigslist for 
300 bucks four years ago but it wasn't the right one I had to like manually press down and it was a lot hard harder than this and then four years later I finally found the right equipment for the job and this has been a very easy process using the right equipment and I enjoy it a lot especially knowing that I'm saving literally thousands of dollars for dice because I probably spent I kid you not probably twenty thousand dollars for dice before I started making my own maybe over twenty thousand but this like being able to make my own dice is like unlocking my creativity because I have all these designs and products and bags in my mind and every time before every time I come up with a new product um, I wouldn't do it because I know that I'm gonna have to spend a few thousand dollars just in dice for that product so I wouldn't do it I would just keep it in my mind <laughs> Would you say someone who has like a uh, like an eye for sort of design and stuff, or do you think anyone can sort of make their own guy kind of thing? Uh, it's very easy if you have the right tools and equipment, and if you know how to weld, because that's also what's involved and needed. This is a TIG welding and it's like, I like it because it's super clean, it doesn't spatter and splashes like other types of welding, like MIG and stick welding, so I can still weld in a leather shop without catching anything on fire. Thank you.
What's my hair? I mean, Is it looks it like mess? you've been working, but it doesn't look bad. Thank you. 